Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another video on ForgottenWeapons.com. I'm Ian McCollum, and I'm out here at the range today, courtesy of Morphe's, with the Sten Mark IV S. Now, we took a look at this yesterday, took it apart, showed all of the various differences between it and a standard Sten, and now we're going to actually try it out on the range. So, we will unfold the thoroughly useless stock. Note that there is literally no cheek weld to be had. It's just kind of line your face up behind the sights. Uh, I'm going to put this on semi-auto. I have this on semi-auto. Standard Sten Mag. Standard 9mm Parabellum. However, it is worth pointing out that between the very short barrel and the porting in the barrel, this should reduce the velocity of 115 grain 9mm to apparently about 800 feet per second, which is thoroughly subsonic and uh, should keep it really nice and quiet. We've got quite a large suppressor on there. So let's see how she does. That is definitely quite quiet. How about on burst? All right, so I stand a bit corrected and surprised here. This is actually not that hard to, in fact, I can easily keep a sight picture while shooting in burst because there's so little recoil, partly because the suppressor um, is, the weight of the suppressor is holding the muzzle down nicely. It is a nine millimeter submachine gun, so there's not a ton of recoil to begin with. The stock assembly is actually fairly heavy. This is, remarkably quite a lot heavier than a lot of well, the most other Sten models because of those two things and and it just stays on target really quite nicely. That's, that's really cool and fun. Notice that it's just kind of plopping cases out. There's not a whole lot of energetic ejection and again I think that's because of the reduced muzzle velocity. As we talked about yesterday they had to reduce the recoil spring and reduce the weight of the bolt in order for this to be able to cycle effectively uh, with that suppressor. There's a little bit of gas coming out of the back of this but honestly not that much. Not, a, not as much as I would have expected. Now, I'm not out, I just had a malfunction because stem gun. All right, we've got two rounds left. Make them count. Click that back onto semi. All right, let's go ahead and reload the magazine and do a little bit more. All right, I am very glad that I was not a British World War II paratrooper issued with this because even though it's better than I expected, um, I would much rather have the Mark V, which is what the paratroopers actually did get. Uh, I'll try a little bit of this with the stock folded. Kind of, see, see the, the stock's still a little bit wobbly here, so you, you can kind of use this as a front grip, kind of, sort of. I'll leave that on semi. Yeah. Uh, not a big fan of this thing from the hip. Much nicer from the shoulder. No. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. This was a fantastic opportunity. Hopefully you guys recognize just how incredibly scarce the Mark IV stand is and the, the chance to actually try one out here. Even rarer than the Mark IV is the Mark IV suppressed version. Uh, so we know how it actually handles. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.